Dream Daddy, a dad dating simulator, is you may have guessed a dating simulator, developed and published by Game Grumps in 2017. And it's lovely! The game absolutely showcases the pure heart that went into it at every opportunity. It's essentially born from a meme, even four years on Daddy is still basically a punchline for reasons that well, if you know, you know, and if you don't know, I'm not going to be the one to share your innocence. And so it would have been very easy to take a route where dad dating other dads is presented as a joke, but this isn't what happened here. Don't get me wrong, it's funny in a very cheesy, corny, dad jokey kind of way that absolutely fits the tone beautifully, but it's so refreshing and unfortunately surprising to see a game focus on being wholesome and heartwarming and inclusive. You got different racial backgrounds, you got, well, Everyone's pretty gay, but there's bi characters, and when building your own, you can answer a question where the implication is you've selected whether you're gay or bi. The dad you can play as can be trans, one of the official dads is trans, and they're all their own wonderfully fleshed out individual people with interlocking narratives. It's so well planned out. And none of this is to say that it shies away from emotion either. Oh boy, oh boy, rather, oh dad, oh dad, you're gonna feel some things. There's a path that I haven't actually taken yet that seems a little doomed to fail in a potentially heartbreaking manner, and there's a main one that you can't ignore in the form of your daughter Amanda, because you're a dad after all, as you try your very best to help her through her struggles. Where a lot of other dating sims have a pretty one-track mind, this game uses the format to sculpt you a story based on how you wish to approach it. And I've basically got no gripes story-wise, but on the flip side, the game isn't perfect. The way to get the absolute most out of the game would be to go on two dates with everyone before locking in your third and final with the one that you like the most. Canonically, this takes a while, but the setting seems spread over a relatively short space of time so you find yourself time travelling a bit. Plus, scoring at the end of each date seems to be both legit and meaningful while also being entirely arbitrary with made up categories. It's a bit bizarre. There's a coin for the spelling mistakes too. A couple of spelling mistakes. It's like one patch away from getting everything right. I've also heard complaints of length, but that doesn't really phase me too much, as it's basically as long as you want to make it. Sure, you can do three dates with one dad and end it there, you can also replay the game six more times, doing something new each time and having a different experience. My favourite dad is Matt, despite all the thumbnail me lead you to believe, and here's where a few little things come in that sweeten the deal for me specifically. As part of Matt's arc, you go to a concert by the real-life Canadian punk band Pup and play a minigame to one of their songs. After looking them up, I got into their other music and they became legitimately my favourite band. So thanks Dream Daddy for your awesome taste. However, if you stream or make YouTube videos, as the Game Grumps do, they're not actually developers first and foremost, but are gaming YouTubers, I believe. I should really be more up to date in the environment within which I work. Uh, then Content ID is not sophisticated enough to differentiate between streaming the song as part of a mini-game versus streaming the song with the intent to maliciously distribute it unlicensed. So the game includes a streamer mode that doesn't just disable the song, but includes a new song recorded by the Game Grumps themselves that explains the situation, and it's so charming that it feels like bribery, but it just comes from a place of wanting to do right by everyone which I think is one of the best messages that a game can possibly have. I give Dream Daddy a 9 out of 10. Give it a play if you want to feel warm and fuzzy inside, and really, deep down, who doesn't? This is the part of the game where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. 